All right, guys, back again with another video. Uh, today, I thought I'd show you my uh, home office. Uh, you guys have obviously seen my video game room on numerous occasions, but I thought I'd give you a bit of an extended tour of uh, the other room in the house where I do a lot of work out of. This is the home office. I don't actually work from home as much these days as I used to. My previous uh, place of employment, I work from home full time. Uh, the new position I have now, I uh, work from home occasionally, but um, yeah, I, I don't do it as much anymore these days. But I thought I'd just kind of walk you around my uh, home office and show you what I got going on here. Um, first and foremost, at the start of this desk is my Amiga 4000 computer. And this is my pride and joy. Basically, we've got the uh, a 19 inch Dell LCD screen here and uh, the Amiga 4000 that I got. This is uh, it's a pretty pimped out system. We've got an original A4000 with the uh, original badge on there, DVD burner, uh, original A4000 keyboard. It's getting a little bit yellow, but it's not too bad. We've got a, uh, a mouse here, optical mouse, and uh, this A4000, uh, it's very, very nice and white. It's actually been uh, resprayed or repowder coated, so it, it's, it's come up really, really nicely. This uh, particular system has a lot of expansions in it, and uh, I was going to do a separate review of my A4000, but um, I, I have uh, don't really have the time to do that at the moment, so I, I'll give you a quick summary of what's under the hood without actually opening the machine up. Basically, there's a Warp Engine 040 accelerator board in there at 40 megahertz, which also has 128 megs of fast RAM on the actual processor itself. There's uh, another, I think it's another 16 meg of fast RAM built on the motherboard itself. And obviously being an A4000, it has two megabytes of chip RAM and it's an 040 architect. I'm sorry, it's, a, it's an AGA architecture. Uh, there's also a whole bunch of expansions. The first one is the Mediator 4000D PCI expansion, which supports plugging in PCI expansion cards or PCI cards into your Amiga, which is something that's obviously aftermarket, which was never done back in the day, but there's a Sound Blaster 16 PCI card in there. There's a 3D Effects Voodoo 3 card, which is what's driving the graphics on this display. And the 3D Effects card runs really, really well. Obviously we've got retargetable graphics via Picasso, um, via Picasso drivers. There's also a XSurf 100 uh, network card from individual computers for the uh, getting this thing on the network. And there's also a rapid road USB connected to the network card. And that's also a individual computers um, piece of kit. And I'm not sure if you can see, but that removable drive right here is actually the uh, is a USB key plugged into the back of the Amiga. So that's my A4000. It's an awesome system. I use this for a lot of my uh, development work for homebrew stuff and just general messing around with. Great machine and I uh, couldn't live without it. Bought it from Amy Bay, I would say over just over a year ago now and I've expanded it accordingly and I put some money into it to, to get it to where it needs to be. There's there's temptation to take it to the next level and go 060 and P, a power PC, but I don't really think the return on investment there is really worth it. The Warp Engine 040 is the fastest uh, 040 class processor you can get for your Amiga. So anyway, let's move on. I, I, as mentioned, I didn't want to make this my Amiga 4000 video. Let's kind of continue on and show you what I got here. Obviously, we got some speakers hooked up to the uh, to the Amiga. Now it's plugged into the Sound Blaster via HI, so there's still port, uh, poor audio that, that comes out of the A4000. Um, but I need to get a mixer or something like that to to get all the sounds kind of plugged into the same set of speakers. Anyway, let's move on. This is my main uh, PC desktop setup, and you guys have seen this a few times already with my. 3D surround gaming test videos that I've been working on. Basically, uh, I picked this up a couple of weeks ago and this is a, a, a PC upgrade that um, I've been wanting to do for a long time now. 
uh, I haven't actually upgraded my PC for, for many years, to believe it or not. It's been about four and a half years since my last PC upgrade. So I thought I was kind of due to, uh, to get something decent. But what we've got basically is, uh, if we look under the, under the desk here, and it's absolutely pitch black down here. You can barely see that, but there's my desktop PC. You can see the faint green of the fans and the blue of the, um, just the, you know, the power switch at the front. But basically what we got here is we've got a Asus Z97 or Z97, depending on which part of the world you're watching this from. Sabertooth Mark II motherboard. And the uh, processor that's in there is an Intel i7-4790K running at 4 gigahertz with a stock CPU fan. Now, um, people have asked me before, you should overclock it. It's a, you know, the uh, 4790s can, can overclock up to 4.7 gigahertz pretty easily, 4.6. I'm not really interested in doing that, to be totally honest with you. I, I, I want to keep everything stocked. There's, I don't think there's a, a huge return on investment or gains from overclocking. I think in this day and age, it's all about your graphics cards rather than the CPU. So I'm happy to, to leave it clocked at 4 gigahertz. I've also got uh, two of the GTX 970s EVGA cards running in SLI. And that's what's powering these three screens. Uh, the screens themselves are, are uh, Asus 24-inch uh, LED displays, and they work really well. Um, it's, it's pretty dark, and I do apologize for that, but you can see the, the, be the bezel thickness. It's pretty thin, so that's why I got these particular monitors. Now, there was also a temptation to go for a 4K monitor or a, uh, a ROG Swift G-Sync monitor, which w would ultimately... Well, I guess the 4K monitor and the ROG Swift would still cost more than three of these, but uh, I kind of thought I would just wait on that a little bit longer. I think 4K technology and the G-Sync stuff is, is still very early in its stages, and I think there's a long way to go, and I think the prices will continue to drop. So I'm probably uh, a year away from, from switching, switching monitors. I, I'm pretty happy with this setup. There's also a... Uh, Corsair 750 watt or 750M modular power supply that's kind of powering the whole thing. Probably too much power, um, but on the flip side, you can never really have uh, a beefy enough power supply. Just when you think you're covered, then you add another component to your PC and um, you know you, you, your power starts, your wattage starts getting full. So that's that. And then uh, there's eight gigabytes of G-Skill memory. Again, I could go on 16, but don't really need to. Um, this handles, 8 gigabytes does more than enough of everything I need to do. Gaming, video editing, YouTube stuff, uh, software development, the works. It, 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 it does, does the job. And I uh, just got a Logitech keyboard and Logitech mouse, nothing fancy there. They're fairly, uh, you know, basic. Thinking about kind of upgrading to a mechanical keyboard, but I know, you know, it's, you got to kind of, cut this off somewhere, right? I mean, um, you can literally drop thousands of dollars on a PC. So yeah, I mean, this is uh, my first PC upgrade I've done for a long time, believe it or not. It's been about four years since my last one. So I'm kind of due for, for an upgrade. And, and I realized that I need to upgrade probably just before Christmas when um, a lot of um, the games I downloaded from the Steam sales over the Christmas break just didn't really work very well. They started getting very choppy and uh, I thought, well, it's it's just time to, to upgrade. So uh, I thought I'd kind of do it, um, splash out a little bit of cash and just get a, a good kind of future-proof setup that should last me at least, I would think at least another three years, hopefully longer. I don't really do PC upgrades very often. Obviously, I'm more of a console guy, but um, yeah, this, this should keep me going for a, hopefully a while. Moving on, I've got uh, just a... Uh, this is a Mad Cat's Xbox 360 controller and that's plugged into the PC and I use that for my PC gaming. It's amazing that uh, a lot of the games these days will support a 360 controller without really any configuration. So uh, I, I'd certainly like to use that when I can. And uh, I've got a lot of light going on here, but over here, this is my Surface Pro 3. This is an i7 model at 500 gigahertz uh, SSD. This is my work machine and I do all, all my development work uh, 
either in the office or at home. And this is a great machine. It's very portable, very light, easy to move, very powerful. It's actually a very, very good machine. If, if you guys are interested or thinking about getting one, I certainly recommend them. It's obviously got the touchscreen stuff, but it also is a fully fledged PC as well. And it, it runs great to, to be totally honest with you. So that's that. And uh, over here, we've just got a uh, Cisco wireless router modem. Oh, sorry, a wireless router. Um, my uh, wireless that comes out of my internet modem um, is really bad, to be totally honest with you. So this thing is actually driving the wireless in the house. And last but not least, over here is my Amiga 500. And uh, yeah, this is what I've got currently going on here. I you know, I, I'm obsessed with Amigas, guys. <laughs> I think you guys have worked that out. My A1200 is currently in my storage closet, and I've got my A600 in the video game room, but what you'll typically find is I'll swap these things out, um, like, you know, uh, women swap out handbags. I, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be playing with this for a couple of weeks, and I'll get bored, and then I want to get back onto the A1200, and then I want to mess around with the A600. So this is what I've got currently. Um, I'm watching a lot of... Um, a500 videos, or, uh, sorry, demos um, on an unexpanded uh, Amiga just to kind of get my fix of that and um, playing a couple of games as well. And one of the other things I've done is since my last video where they had my A500 on camera, which I believe was either the ACA500 video or maybe the one where I got my A500 online with a Raspberry Pi, I've given this a really good claim um, it's actually in very, very good nick. So, uh, yeah, I thought I'd, uh, show that as well. And that's plugged into a, just a 19 inch HP LCD screen. Now I've actually got a, a 1084S in my storage closet, but it's kind of bulky. And, um, you know, at the moment this is plugged into an Indivision ECS. So it's just plugged in directly into the VGA and I've got scanline generational emulation going on the Indivision. So that's my A500. Very cool machine. Absolutely love the Amigas. And uh, yeah, that's uh, keeping keeping me going for a while, and then I'll swap out swap it out for the uh, 1200 eventually, I'm sure, and then uh, who, who knows after that. So, you know, I've got too many Amigas, right? I mean, I don't need this many, but I just love them. I love these machines, and um, you know, it, it. I think about maybe you know getting rid of um, one or two and just keeping the 4000 and maybe the 1200. But I just can't bear to, to part with them. I, I just love these machines. And, you know, to be honest, they took me a while to find. So I'm not really uh, in any hurry to, uh, to to part with them. So uh, there's my A500. This one here uh, at the moment has just got Kickstart 1.3 built into it. I don't have any side expansions. It's got one megabytes RAM expansion, 500 meg of chip. All I'm doing with this is playing games on floppy disk and demos. And, uh, yeah, having a blast with it. So that's that. And... Uh, Finally, in the corner here, um, this is my guitar setup. Now, I, I don't know if you guys know, but I've been a guitar player for a long time. I've played for about 20 plus years, maybe actually close to 25. This is one of my, well, this is my original guitar setup um, that I, I first got back in the 90s when I was really getting serious about playing music and playing guitar. Obviously, I don't do it anymore these days. I'm a full-time professional and... Um, I don't get to play my guitar as much as I'd like to, but I want to actually start getting into home recordings and and stuff like that. I've got a, a buddy at work who's uh, really into it, so uh, he's kind of getting me interested in, in, in you know recording music. So what I've got here, this is a Marshall JCM 900 valve amp. This is a vintage classic Marshall amp, and this is this thing is an absolute beast. This is a um, 100 watt uh, combo amp. And all the tubes are in the back, and it's a, it's a, just a beast of an amp. Absolutely love it. I bought it back in the mid '90s for, uh, to be totally honest, I got it for a steal, and uh, it's been keeping me going. It's been going strong ever since. To be totally honest, I've had zero wishes with this amp. This thing is just an absolute champ. You turn it on, you let the uh, tubes warm up for about ten minutes, and then you plug in and you start playing, and it just does not let you down. And over here, this is one of my guitars, but um, I've got a couple of others, but this is my main guitar. This is a Fender American Standard Stratocaster. This is a 1992 model. And I bought this guitar back in, I think I want to say like 94 or 95. But this thing is an absolute classic. It, it's mellowed out a lot and it just sounds amazing. And, and for people that are into this kind of thing, they'll know what I'm talking about. 
It's got the uh, awesome uh, maple uh, fretboard there. And uh, just, uh, yeah, it's it's standard. Nothing's been modified onto it. And uh, just love the sunburst color. So that's uh, my guitar setup. And yeah, guys, this is this is my home office. I uh, thought I'd give you a bit of a tour of it. Um, this is where I work when uh, I'm at home. And uh, yeah, I uh, thought uh, you guys get a bit of a kick out of that. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you again next time. Bye for now.